Hey guys, Bonjour Penguin here again. Today we're going to cover uh, reloading part two. Uh, mostly it will be making a HUD and also changing some of the stuff so that you can't shoot while you're reloading, stuff like that. So first, we're going to go over here to Scene, Add New, and Empty. Press zero. Oh, there's no camera here. I'm going to add a camera. Add mesh plane. This is going to be uh, keeping track of my bullets. And I'm just going to make them red. Now I press Shift C, and that puts the uh, 3D cursor in the middle. So now I'm going to do Add Mesh Circle. This is going to be our crosshair. Scale it down a little. Tab All. And then I'm going to do Extrude, and then scale it so it makes a thicker circle. Right about there. Make it whatever color you want. I'm going to do green because it's the best color ever. Now, that might be good enough for now. Go back to your main game. And camera's a good place to do it. Go to game logic. Add, add, add. Change always, or keep always. Yeah. Connect the ball to the Q Change this to scene. Where is it? Overlay. Add overlay scene. And what is it? Oh, level 1.1. 1 .1. I'm going to change this to HUD. Alright. I can HUD. Now we press play. And my crosshair is a little bit too small. So go back to HUD. It changes. Oh, I see. Alright, what it did is it put everything on this side. So go back to camera view, tab, select all, and do control and recalculate normals. And it will recalculate to what you're looking at. So now they're all on the opposite side for some reason. Rotate. Keep doing this, tweak it. Oh, that's the game over. There we go. So now we have a HUD. We have little things that represent our ammo and the crosshair. So now what we want to do is make the ammo, those symbols, go away after uh, you shoot. So go to the shotgun, I believe. Mouse. Mouse. So when it's clicking, we want add, and we're going to do something called a message. Message sub two. If you leave that blank, that just means everyone will get it. Subject will be fire. We just fired. Um, a, what's it called? A shot. Because you can't really talk in between scenes. So go back to level one, or HUD. Add some logic here. Add, add, add. Message. Fire. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna add a property. One or two. After we get that message that says fire, we're going to tell our ammo here. You can have the same name as long as it's in a different object and it all works. Add negative one. So now every time the mouse clicks, it'll send a message everywhere that says fire. And then when this receives it fire, it will subtract the ammo to negative one. Now we will say it to be invisible. So add, add, add. Fall to the Cheerio. Fall to the Cheerio. Property. We're going to say if it, if ammo is not equal to 2, then be invisible. So let's try that out. It's there, and if we shoot, yep. Oh, I did it. I did a capital M. There it is. So in this case, sensitive. So make that a capital M. Now let's try it. Now we do it. Bam. Alright, so we just shot one shot and that one's gone. But if we reload, it won't come back. <laughs> so we have to do another one. Go to the pump, wherever you did the reloading. So when you press spacebar, we're going to add another message called reload, or subject, reload. It's sending a message to every object in every scene entire blend file that reload is occurring. Let's go back to HUD. Add message. So when this receives the message reload, it goes, oh, reload, let's do something. Add property. Property ammo equal to two. Keep it at a sign. And we need to make it come back afterwards. So, add a when prop yeah. property ammo is equal to two visibility. Make it visible. So that shall work now for the first one. Shoot, it goes away. Reload, it comes back. So we got the first one done. Now we gotta make the second one.